Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Throwback Thursday. I have done a masterful job of avoiding Half-Life for another week by playing games online with a friend of mine that I don't get to play with very often. I don't get to play with any of my friends very often. Maybe that's why I do this uh, recording and streaming, because uh, this is the closest I get to a multiplayer experience that I, that I enjoy, I should say. Because I don't really do online multiplayer with strangers. Strangers are the worst. And if you're not one of those horrible strangers that play games online, thank you for being you, and keep keep doing so. Ah, <laughs> I should pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, let me take a look at some stuff here. Oh, I forgot about my button mapping. Uh, let's see. I know I have a bunch to go there, to do there yet. Looks like Henry Aztec's done. Yeah, okay. So back to the factory. Back to the factory. Hurry up, DK. That was not correct. Let's just get this and there we go. There we go. We're gonna go the correct route to get to the level. Because I'm smart. Uh, okay, I can pull this out. Let me do this real quick. Ha! gamepad plugged in apparently. It's not marking that it's it's not light it's not giving me the red light to show that the battery needs it, but the screen keeps shutting off. Which really kinda of bothers me, but goodness knows I'm not getting it fixed now. way to get a gold banana ever. A neat little tune and then, oh yeah, I got another banana. Here you go. So if you're finding that many gold banana squawks, you really should be sharing them with me much sooner. finished here. No, not quite. Although I think... Yeah, DK's was this one. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Snide blueprint. I got two snide blueprints to... Well, three, I guess. But I don't know where DK's is. So let's go and finish... Um... Let's finish with Diddy Kong, shall we? So anyway, like I was saying, I was uh, playing games online with a friend last night. I tested my... Master Chief collection that I picked up for PC a while back. I was checking how well it operates online and such. Online is good. I will say I looked I had to look it up. It seems like Halo Reach's PC port has there's some kind of inherent issue with the port itself that Reach just seems to stutter. Which is disappointing to be sure, but the multiplayer ran like silky smooth. It was a good time. And it just so happens 
that a mouse and keyboard is not going to be the solution for my skills at Halo improving. I still suck. Yes, I do. Of course, the worst part was I, I couldn't... I didn't really remember it, like half the controls for the PC version. So I I did all kinds of dumb, stupid, you know, mistakes, like, uh, blew up both myself and a teammate with a grenade. Which, you know, I'm sure they uh, <coughs> appreciated that. I'm sure they had a good time with that. I mean, I got a few kills, which is pretty standard for me. I think most everybody playing Halo these days is kind of a monster, though. Just skill-wise, not necessarily behavior-wise. Though, probably behavior, too, but... Whew. I'm wide awake. Man, oh man, oh man. Get up early most of the week for work stuff. Which is fine. Just doesn't bother me much, but it is catching up to me. Let's kind of climb the toy box, shall we? I just barely... Uh, I'm gonna chalk that one up to the gamepad's thumbstick being far too sensitive. This takes one small slip. And I am falling all the way down. Alright, mini game time. What do you Welcome got? To bonus stage. Oh, okay, right. I'm okay with this one. This one's, this one's fine. Not complaining. This stupid beaver game was awful. But they definitely could have stepped up a little bit for that. Alright, down we go. Can I survive? Maybe. Cool. I like living. Living is nice. Let's see. Where did I come in? That's where I came in? I think so. Don't touch me! Stranger danger! Stay away! <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's like literally just the banana that's over there? Okay. 
Let's just grab this real quick. Let's mix, let's mix it up this time around. Alright, big guy. Let's do this thing. Chucky. 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 Thank you. Ah. Loser. Oh, that was not the right button. <clears throat> Whoops. This still makes no sense. Be saving those animal crates. So I'm gonna do that. How rude. That's weird. No! I hate you. Ooh. That's a lot of them, but there's a pair of them. Oh, okay. So that's how this is going to work. Rude. Rude. Alright, come on now. Oh, what? No! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Ah! Eat this! Come on! What am I missing? Oh! Come on! Stupid! What the? 
Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's stupid! Uh, I bet I have to do the whole thing over again. Finding ways to make me mad, and it's not supposed to make me mad. This is supposed to be the game I relax to. <sighs> Old games are fickle, man. Oh, I gotta start from the freaking beginning of this room. Dang it! <sighs> Give me combat challenges on a game that's not made for combat. Suck it. this way, so... that blueprint.
that <laughs> second one, but... I'm probably not making sense. Yeah, that's what I should, should start calling these streams. The not nonsense game. Nonsense game. That's good. Is it? Punk? Are you kidding me right now? Press a button, Snide. You really don't need to. It's, it's too much. It's, it's too much. It's starting to feel like you're showing off a little bit, Snide. It's not very attractive. If your attractiveness is a uh, top priority for you. Makes sense. Shut up. Ah, no. Okay, got it. Oh no. Ooh. That was very nearly a disaster. Good. 
damn! To not really appreciate this particular. Oh, yes, yes. You know how to turn around, you stupid fat monkey thing. Learn how to turn. Good. No, 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 no! Oh! I don't want to do this anymore. Oh. The thing is, maybe I'll get a chance to confirm someday, but I feel like. No. No! Come on! Screw you! I feel like if I were to go back and play the original version again, I feel like the controls would would be much looser than what I remember. I don't remember the controls feeling nearly this slippery, but holy crap. But they probably were. I probably just don't remember being this way. Oh, I'm still trying. There's no way I'm getting up there. Oh well. YOLO, as they say. Yeah, that's not happening. Damn it! Screw you. remember one of the uh so final fantasy 14 right great game awesome game love it to death favorite game of all time anyway uh so it's an mmo right so you know mo movement in general is not like bad but it doesn't need strong movement controls because it's an, an, an mmo right i mean yeah there's a jump button and Sprint, walk, etc. But it's not like it needs it. So somebody at Square Enix apparently had the great idea to utilize said jump controls and such, and make uh, this thing called a sightseeing log. A sightseeing log is, you know, not terrible in concept. Holy crap, how did I make that jump? Chunky! No! No! Oh my goodness! Oh. Uh. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so sick of this. Stupid. Give me the banana! You know, it's rather uncanny actually. Just how uh, frequently I, I'm able to get precisely. five golden bananas within my self-designated time limit. I'm about to get all the these bananas already. Ah, uh, you saw some. Okay, before I go in there and get that. Yes, perfect.
so anyway, finish my story real quick and then I'll that. And then I'll uh be down for today, but yeah, so site see one. So the overall concept is fine, it's good, right? It's the whole the whole idea is that you follow in somebody in this whoever's footsteps and view the world through, through different perspectives. Neat. Cool concept. Here's the thing. I start I find I see a a lookout point for the sightseeing log in a, one of the newer areas in the game, right? So you know, it's this big glowing point on the map, so you know, how am I gonna how am I gonna pass that up? I have to go for it, right? So it's on top of a light pole that is uh, just kind of in the, in the middle of a plaza. You know, nothing nothing bad, nothing wrong with that. And set hold. Well, yeah. Hey, alive. It's so I go to. So I go to try and snag it, and there's nothing nearby for me to jump up onto the light post, which. Just simply landing on the light post alone is plenty difficult. Because you have to. You have to land. In a, very, in a pretty small uh, hitbox, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know what I mean. So it would be hard enough to, to land directly on the thing in the first place. But naturally, I go to uh, investigate, uh, try to figure out how to get on top of it. I see this uh, very tall building, castle-like building. So I start climbing. Up. I find a spot I can jump. I can't make it from there. So I go to look it up. It turns out that I have to climb all the way to the top of the castle just to get enough build up distance with the jump. Build up speed with the jump to go and get it. And then I'm climbing the castle. And it's, it's basically a high-precision uh, platforming challenge in an MMO. Guess how easy that is to do. If you, your answer was not at all, congratulations, you win something, I guess. I don't know. It was awful. I was trying to climb that stupid castle for an hour before I had to go to bed. An hour! And I could not make it. That is moving very quickly! Don't appreciate this. Oh, for real? Why? Why do they do these things? level is monstrous. Oh. Hey, I made it six, and uh, it only took four extra minutes. But I had to finish my story about the awful, awful platforming challenge in Final Fantasy XIV. Do something in the settings if you play Final Fantasy XIV and turn off the glowing spots for the sightseeing log. You'll sleep better at night. Anyway, my story is done, so... Time to be over. Uh, make sure that if you like the video, if you like my nonsensical ramblings and uh, yelling at silly games um, or my silly performance in games, make sure you hit the like button. Leave your comments down below. And as always, if you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so you know when more videos are up. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I don't say it enough for. You know, I don't get a t I don't get a ton of views, so really every view counts, and I I really appreciate everybody that tunes into this stuff that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, ring the bell so you know when more is available, and 
uh, still working on a uh, produced content idea. Um, I think uh, something along the lines of The Completionist. Definitely not The Completionist. I'm just not that good. So, but you can look forward to that. So ring the bell, please. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. No prob, Rob. And I'm out!